heart went Okay, let's solve for example number two. This example consists of three loops with how many branches? We have one, two, three, four, five, six branches. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong anim na kuryenteng hahanapin because of the presence of six branches. But before we do that, let's identify our nodes first. So, let's say this is node A. This one's a node also. It's B. Let's say this is C. And this one, let's say this is node D. And then let's name the corners for the sake of naming the loops. So we have here E, F, G, and H. So as I've said kanina, meron tayong anim na branch currents na hahanapin because we have six branches. And let's try to assume directions for the six branches. So for the six branches, we have a current here in this branch, in the 10 volt branch, and that would be, let's say, I sub 1. For this branch, let's say this is to the left, I 2. Bakit? And ito yung positive. So let's say we have, if these two currents will enter this node, automatic yung isa lalabas, di ba? Just so we can balance it. Say this is I3. And then, we have a source voltage here. So let's say we have an upward current here. Which means it will supply current dito sa side na to. Let's say we have current also here. And then let's say ang assumption natin dito is downward. Okay. So let's say this is I4. This one's I5. And let's say this is I sub 6. So this branch is I sub 4. This is I sub 5. This one is I sub 6. So we have 6 equations. For the 6 equations that we need, ilan ang KVL dito? You have 3 loops. So we have 3 KVL. How many remaining equations? We have 3 more equations. And those three equations will come from three KCL. Okay, so let's start solving. So to solve, we start with KVL at loop. Dun tayo sa taas muna. So let's say this is EFC, EFCBA, EFCBA. So let's trace in that manner. Okay, so tracing we have here. Voltage tayo ha, voltage drop. So, for voltage dito, that would be current times resistance. Diretso na natin. So, we have 120 I3. 120 current times resistance. So, 120 I3. But since you go along the current, that's negative voltage. Next, we have 50 ohms. And I5, that would be 50 I5. We are tracing pa left na tayo in this branch and the current is left then so negative din yon and then we have 30 ohms and the current in that branch is I sub 2 so we have 30 I2 but we are going left and the current is left then so same direction means negative pasok tayo sa voltage source so pasok tayo sa negative terminal labas tayo sa positive terminal the longer one so, we have positive 12 volts for that. Tapos, balik tayo sa starting point, which means zero ito. Okay, so, let's arrange our variables or our terms in chronological order of the branch current. So, let's say this is negative 30 I sub 2 minus 120 I sub 3 minus 50 I sub 5. I'll transpose the constant to the right and that would be negative 12. So, pwedeng hayaan nyo ng ganito to, but if you want, you can make the sign positive by dividing both sides or multiplying both sides by negative 1. So, let's say i-retain ngayon natin to. So, let's say this is equation 1. Okay? Next, let's get the second equation 
through this loop. So, we're going to solve for KVL at loop A, B, D, H. A. Itong loop na to. Let's start at A. So, if we trace this clockwise direction starting from A, I'll enter positive terminal of 12 volts and exit at negative terminal. So, that would be negative 12. And then, trace until the 30 ohm resistor. Kaso, kasalubong mo yung current. So, positive. Voltage drop yun pag kasalubong mo yung current. And the voltage drop here is current times resistance. So, that would be 30 I sub 2. Bababa tayo dito. Going down, current is also downward. So, that's negative sign kasi kasabay mo yung kuryente. And that's current times resistance. So, that's 100 I4. And then, lastly, dito tayo, iko tayo dito, walang laman. So, itong linyang to, you have voltage drop here. Pasok tayo sa negative, labas tayo sa positive. So, ibig sabihin, positive 10 volts. Baka mamaya magamit mo yung I1 ha, walang resistor. So, wala tayong paggagamitan ng I1 na yun. Baka mamultiply mo yung I1 sa voltage. Okay, so pag KVL voltage lamang. So, positive 10. Balik tayo sa starting point which means this is equated to 0. So, let's arrange in order. We have 30 I sub 2 minus 100 I sub 4. You have negative 12 plus 10. That's negative 2. Transpose that to the right, it will become positive 2. So, this will be our equation number 2. Okay? And then, our third KVL will be on this loop. So, KVL tayo at loop B, C, G, D, B. Okay, let's start at B. Paganto, clockwise tayo. So, for B, I'm going to come across this resistor. Voltage drop niya ay current times resistance. So, that would be 50 I sub 5. But, as I trace to the right, pakanan nako. but the current is to the left. So, pagkasalubong tayo, that's positive voltage drop. Next, pasok tayo dito. Sa positive terminal, labas tayo sa negative terminal ng voltage. So, magiging negative ang sign niyan. Negative 15 volts. Iko tayo. Trace natin. Dito tayo ngayon. 100 ohm resistor. So, we're tracing upward na on this branch. Ang current ay downward. Which means magkasalubong. And that means positive voltage. So, that would be current times resistance. 100 times I4. Okay. Bumalik tayo sa starting point. Which means equate that to 0. Okay, so we have 100 I4 plus 50 I5 equals, transpose the constant to the right, equals 15. And this will be our equation number 3. Okay, so we are able to get 3 equations from the KVL that we did. And we have 6 equations to fulfill. So, may tatlo pa tayong equation na kailangan kuhanin. At sabi natin, yung tatlong equation na yun, kukunin natin using KCL. And with KCL, you have 1, 2, 3, 4 options for your nodes. So, let me use ABC for this case. So, let's take KCL at node A. Tatandaan ha, ang titingnan nyo lang pong branch, yung nakakabit lang dun sa node. So, kung ito si node A, wala na tayong pakialam dito sa branch na to. Kasi hindi naman siya connected sa node A. Okay? So, titingnan nyo lang yung lines na nakakabit kay A at yung kuryente yung dumadaan doon. So, for node A, you have these three lines. And those three lines have I1, I2, and I3. So, for I1, it's entering the node. And that's positive. For I2, papasok din siya kasi pa-left yun. So, positive I2 din yun. While for I3, since pa kanan to, ang tendency niyan, pag ganito yung flow niya, ibig sabihin, palayo sa, siya sa node A and that's negative I3. Equate that to 0. This will be our equation number 4. Next, let's take KCL at node B. And for node B, bali yung branch ngayon natin ay ito, ito, at ito. 
So, those three branches have I2, I4, and I5 as the currents. And looking at node B, I2 is pa left. So, palayo siya kay node B. That's negative I2. For I4, I4 is downward. So, ang tendency palayo siya kay B. That's negative I4 also. And for I5, since pa left yun, papunta kay B, that would be positive I5. Equate that to 0. That will be your equation number 5. And last, I'll take KCL at node C. And the branches are this one, this line. Ito, si I5 branch at ito. So, for that, we have I3 in this direction. So, papunta yun kay node C. That's positive I sub 3. And then, for I5, since pa left siya, palayo siya kay, I, kay node C. That's negative I5. And then, for I6, paakyat. So, papasok yun kay node C. That's positive I6. Equate that to 0. And... This will be our equation number 6. So, we've completed the 6 equations and the problem lies on solving systems of linear equations wherein anim yung unknown variables. Okay, so the problem here is we have 6 equations and 6 unknowns and the calculator cannot solve this because your calculator probably can only solve up until 3 or four equations if you have the class with calculator. So, what we're going to do this is solve this by substitution. Okay, so, ang ginagawa ko po ay hindi ko pinapakailman yung KVL equations ko muna. I start with the KCL equations. Pero before that, I have to choose three variables I will retain. So, ang aking goal dito from six equations Mapaunti ko siya hanggang sa tatatlo na lang siyang equations. So, kung tatlo na lang equations natin, ibig sabihin, tatlo lang dapat ang variables na iyon. So, ang gagawin natin, kailangan natin pumili ng tatlong variables na i -re natin. So, for convention, pumili ka ng isa sa tatlong KVL. At kung anong variables niya, yun ang gawin natin. Yun ang piliin natin um, ititira. So, let me see, let's say I chose equation 1. It has I2, I3, and I5. So, ang goal ko dito, etong dalawang equations na to, ang maging laman lang niyang variables ay I2, I3, and I5. So, for the first equation, okay na. I2, I3, I5 na siya. For the second equation, I have here I2. That's okay. Kaso may I4 ako dito. Which means, kailangan mapaltan ko tong I4 na to. Next, pagdating sa third equation, I have here I4. Okay. Ang I5, di ba, i-retain -re natin siya. So, wala tayong problema dito. Ito, kailangan palta natin si I4 dito. Okay. Now, I have to look for a relationship of I4 that will replace it with terms that contain I2, I3, and I5. So, if you're going to inspect your KCL equations, I can find I4 here. And if I use equation 5, okay, so from 5, we solve for I4, and that would be, uh, so I'll copy the equation, that's negative I2, negative I4, plus I5, equate that to 0, and then I'll be able to solve for I4, if I transpose this to the right, you'll get positive I4, and that would be equivalent to the ones left on the left. And that's negative I2 plus I5. So, as you can see, yung I4 ko, naka-equate siya into an expression that contains 2, 3, 5. Wala lang 3. So, it contains 2 and 5. Dun sa target nating maiwan. So, if I substitute this equation or this value on all I4s, on equations 2 and 3, anong mangyayari? So, let's say, let's say this is equation 7. Okay. So, let us substitute equation 7 to equation 2. What is equation 2? Equation 2 is 30I2 minus 100I4 equals positive 2. You have there 30I2 minus, minus 100 times what's I4. I4 is negative I2 plus I5. Sinabstitute mo lang dito yung relationship 7 mo. Pinalit lang natin siya sa I4. Equate that to 2. And then we're going to distribute this and simplify. So we'll have this as 
30i2, negative 100 times negative i2, that's positive 100i2. And negative 100 times i5, that's negative 100i5. Equate that to 2. We can simplify these two terms because they are similar. And we'll have that as 130i2 e minus 100i5 equals 2. So instead of using this equation, we will be using this now. Ito na yung transformed equation natin. Dun sa variables na gusto nating matira. So gusto nating matira si i2, i3, and i5. Yung equation 2 naging i2 and i5 na siya in terms of i2 and i5. So we'll do the same on the remaining equation, third equation. Same, we substitute equation 7 to equation 3. Okay, what is equation 3? Equation 3 is 100 I4 plus 50 I5 equal to 15. We substitute in place of I4 equation 7. So, ito ulit yun. Therefore, that would be 100 times negative I2 plus I5 plus 50 I5 equals 15. This time, we're going to substitute 100 on all terms in the parentheses. That would be negative 100 I sub 2 plus 100 I sub 5 sub distribute plus 50 I 5 equals 15. And then again, the resulting equation has similar terms. We'll simplify that. This will be negative 100 I 2 plus 150 I 5 and that would be equivalent to 15. So, this will be our third equation. So, actually, with just equations 2 and 3, pwede na tayong mag-solve ng unknown variables, I2 and I5. Kasi two equations to and both equations only contain I2 and I5. Ibig sabihin, pwede tayong mag-mode 5, 1 for this. Two equation two unknowns. Pero kung gusto nyo kasabay nating isosolve si I3, pwede tayong mag-3 equations dito. And then, let's use mode 5, 2. So, let's try that in our calculator. We have mode 5, 2 for 3 equations. So, let's start with this. Our sequence is I2, I3, and I5. Okay? So, for I2, that's negative 30. For I3, that's negative 120. For I5, that's negative 50. Our constant on the right is negative 12. For our next equation, we have 130 for I2. We do not have I3, so that would be 0. For I5, that's negative 100. And for the constant, that's positive 2. Next equation, we have negative 100 for um, I2. We do not have I3 again, so that would be 0. And then for I5, we have 150. Equate that to the constant, that's 15. We press equals, the answer will be in the sequence I2, I3, and I5. So, I2 is 18 over 95 or 0 0.1895. I3 is negative 0 0.0417. And our I5 is 0 0.2263. That will be our answer for I2, I3, and I5. Kung gusto nyong i-test, pwede naman nating i-solve itong dalawang equations na to, kagaya na sinabi ko kanina, using mode 5, 1. Since 2 equation 2 unknowns yan, ano? So, let's press, let's press mode 5, 1. We have 130 for I2, negative 100 for I5. Our constant is positive 2. And then for the second equation, we have... Negative 100 for I2, positive 150 for I5, and then 15 for the constant. And if you press equals, it should give us the same answer as we did before. Yung 3 equation, 3 unknowns natin. And of course, pare sila. Okay? Halimbawa, ito yung ginawa mo. Ito muna yung sinolve mo. Paano mo isosolve si I3? So, yung masosolve nyo pong sagot ng I2 and I5, ito, itong dalawang tong sagot na to, you'll substitute them on this equation, magkakaroon ng isang variable na lang, and then you can solve for I3. Pero kung ayaw mo magpakahirap, mag-3 equation, 3 unknowns tayo, ba? Okay, so, from being able to solve for I2 and I3 and I5, the question is looking for all the branch currents. So, we still have to find for the value of 1, 4, and 6. So, we have I1, we're looking for I1, 
i4 and i6. So, pwede tayong magsimula kay um, i sub 1 using KCL at node A. This is number 4 equation. So, from this equation, i1 plus i2 minus i3 equal to 0. Pwede mong isolve si i1 by transposing all the other terms are right. And that will give you negative i2 plus positive i3. And then after that, since may sagot na tayo kay i2 and i3, which ito yun kanina, substitute na lang po natin. Ano? So that would be negative 18 over 95 plus i3 natin is negative 1 over 24. So i sub 1 will be equivalent to negative 18 over 95 minus 1 over 24. So, that would be negative 5 to 7 over 2 to 80 amperes. Or in decimal, that's negative 0 0.2311 amperes. Next. So, this is I1. Next is, we solve for I sub 4 using yung equation na ginamit natin kanina, which is equation 7. So, using equation 7, ano ba equation natin? I4 is equivalent to um, negative I2 plus I5. Tama ba? Or, ito mo kunin ulit kay equation 5. Isolve mo dito si I4. So, we'll transpose ulit. And then, we substitute the values that we already have. So, that would be negative of I2. I2 is 18 over 95 ulit. Plus, our I5 is 43 over 190. From that, we can solve for I4. That's negative 18 over 95. Negative 18 over 95 plus 43 over 190. And that gives us 7 over 190. In decimal, that's equivalent to 0 0.0368 amperes. And then last is I6 from the sixth equation. So, kopyahin natin tong equation na to. This is I3 minus I5 plus I sub 6. Equate that to 0. We can solve for I6. You transpose this 2 to the right. And that would give you negative I3 na. Tapos ito ay positive I5 na. And then, substitute. So, we have negative of I3. I3 is negative 1 over 24. Plus I5. I5 is 43 over 190. And from that, we have I6. That's equivalent to positive na yung 1 over 24 natin plus 43 over 190. And that gives you 611 over 2280 or in decimal form, the current at the current at the 6th branch that we considered is 0 0.2680 kapag ating niround off amperes. And there you have it, the six branch currents of our circuit. An alternative to this, if you have these six equations, pwede kayong mag-matrix dito, di ba? Remember matrix inversion, solution for systems of linear equation. Or if you want, you can use Kramer's or Gaussian elimination. Nasa sa inyo po. If you do not want um, simultaneous solving using substitution, pwede nyo i-apply yung engineering mathematics natin.